we're talking about Krebs cycles, or we call it TC cycle two. So the mnemonic I used to remember this is citrate is Krebs starting substrate for making oxaloacetate. Well, state is number one, so I'm gonna write here citrate. I stands for isocitrate. We have K stands for alpha keta gateway. S for succinyl CoA, succinyl CoA. Other S, succinate. Then F for fumarate. M for malate. And O for oxaloacetate. And then there we go. Uh, I've written more clear here. What happens? In glycolysis, pyruvate pyruvate gets converted into acetyl CoA with the help of pyruvate dehydrogenase. You guys need to remember this enzyme. And then this gets here and makes citrate. Citrate gets converted into isocitrate. Isocitrate gets converted into alpha ketoglutarate, which then converts into succinyl CoA, eventually succinate, fumarate, malate, oxaloacetate, and then goes back again with the help of acetyl CoA to make citrate. We have some enzymes here, but we're not going to talk about all of them, we'll just talk about the important ones, okay? Of enzymes, which helps these reactions to occur. So, from our mnemonic, we need to memorize this crab. Like, this is the main, anything that happens, the, uh, the most important enzymes we need to remember, they are either before crab or after crab, either before alpha ketoglutarate or after alpha ketoglutarate. The rest of them, they're not very important, and we don't need to remember them. Okay, and then one more thing we need to memorize that all other here they all got four carbons, while crab got five carbons, and before these two these two they got six carbons. Okay, so citrate has six carbons, isocitrate has six carbons, alpha ketoglutarate as I told you it has five carbons, and then rest four four carbons, four carbons, four carbons, and Four carbons and acetyl CoA has two carbons. That's how it makes four plus two six carbons. All right, see here it's carbon, C for carbon, C for carbon, C for carbon, C for carbon. Okay, so here it's losing one carbon. See, it was six carbon, it has five carbon. So, okay, so it will lose one carbon in shape of carbon dioxide. And then with it. It also loses one electron and makes NAD into NADH. Okay. And then here it was five carbon, here's a four carbon. Again, it will lose one carbon dioxide, it will produce one carbon dioxide, and again, NAD to NADH. Okay. And it is removing one hydrogen, so the enzyme here it will be dehydrogenase. What dehydrogenase is taking one one hydrogen from isocitrate, so it will be isocitrate dehydrogenase. And here it's same like alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase because it's taking it's removing one hydrogen from alpha ketoglutarate. Okay, and then we have succinate with four carbon, fumarate with four carbon, malate with four carbon, azaloacetate with four. Carbon. Here we get one GTP molecule, and from succinate to fumarate we get FAD into F. A D H two, and then mm, we don't get anything here. We write to malate, and we get one N A D H here from N A D to N A D H. Easy way. Right? Your the enzymes around the crab they are important. So there are only two enzymes which are of much more importance here, and they are isocitrate dehydrogenase. What dehydrogenase is? It removes one hydrogen. So it's called dehydrogenase from beer, isostrate, so it's isostrate dehydrogenase. And alpha keto glitterate dehydrogenase, I forgot to write dehydrogenase, it's removing one hydrogen from keto glitterate, alpha keto glitterate, so it's alpha keto glitterate dehydrogenase as well. And one more thing about this enzyme, this is the shutdown button of Krebs cycles. When we're making enough ATP, but we're not working out, for example, we, we, we make enough ATP, but we're not using it, then this isocitrate dehydrogenase, dehydrogenase this shuts down the Krebs cycle.
and then everything kinds of back up. I say straight, back to straight, back is time to go A, and then you know, the back back off, and then it stops. Crap cycle stop making ATPs.